Hello. So, um, you know, I'm on my own business, and I try to spend my money. You know what? Let's, go, let's just cut to the chase here. This is the first Christmas in about six years I'll be able to afford to buy it. Six gifts that cost at least $100. Stop right there. So, um, I've been trying to do a lot of things on eBay recently, and um, everything I bid on except for one item where I made a mistake, um, I had to get canceled. This is business. eBay package right here. This is business. And I can honestly say I spent like $400 on eBay. And I decided uh, my close circuit cameras for the studio. There's one. Yep, there's one. The cameras I bought for the studio. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, this is tight. That's tight. That's tight. This is that's tight. That is man. Good shit there. That's nice. So um these closed circuit TVs um I bought for the studio. So look, I'm redoing my studio, so I figured you know save a little money. And, you know, whatever I don't want anymore, I'll get rid of it on eBay. I'm just going to call this what it is. And I'm going to call it what it is. So, um, I'm spending good money on eBay. Now, everything I bid on, I end up paying for. Everything. Everything I want, I pay for. So, when I look at the situation, and I'm like, you know what? This is a good deal. Let me go ahead and sell all of the um, unwanted studio equipment I got, the stuff I'm finished with. Sell it, dump it. Here's the secondary camera. So, I like this. These cameras are super tight. So, um, Got to get the rest of the connections and program, and I'll be able to do it. So, you know, I'm spending good money. My money is good money, okay? And it brings me to this. So I'm going to decide to sell all my old stuff. And, you know, while I'm doing my computer thing, I don't need a lot of this music equipment that I don't use. So I'm going to sell it on eBay. I list my stuff on eBay, and it sells. These idiots cannot pay for the shit they buy from me. It's not like I'm selling these cameras for $2 and it costs $36 to ship them from China. And I got two of them. I paid for that. If I had to look closer on eBay, closer, I could have got the cameras for $40 and shipping and handling for free. But I paid for my shit. I could have cried. I could have complained. I could have called them back and said, oh, no, those are the wrong ones. Put my foot in the shit. I'm going to get the shit off my shoes without no help. I pay for what I ask for. So, I'm spent like $400 on this eBay thing. I'm waiting for a jersey. I'm waiting for... MP4 players, actually two MP4 players, and another MP4 player. I'm waiting. Actually, I'm waiting for two jerseys and three MP4 players, and a mixing board. And um, you know, and I just bought some books today. You know, blah blah. So um, why is it that I can spend money and pay for my shit, but whenever somebody wins my property, I get an email? that this is the wrong thing, they can't afford it. Now, it's very ironic that $300 worth of sales, yeah, these cameras are tight. Yeah. But it's gotta go to HSC and get the rest of the wiring, and we'll put one on each side of the room and shit, yeah. and get the green strings going. So, now, I get, I pay for my shit. Now, the whole purpose of me getting rid of my old music is to pay for some of the stuff I'm buying on eBay. 
and the money will go into my PayPal account, blah, 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 yakety, smackety, smackety, yakety, yakety, blah, blah. So what I'm trying to say is this, and this is what kicked me over the edge. I go out to the garage, and I noticed I had got this big old giant plasma TV, and I decided I'm not going to get this TV fixed. No. Even though the TV in the living room, the 55, just went out, I'm not going to spend no money on this plasma TV. I put the plasma TV on eBay. Needs parts. I put where you get the parts. I put how much the parts cost. I put that the TV has sound, no picture. It needs an X uh, sustain board. I put it down at the X sustain board. Cost $139. I lined it up. A guy wins the TV. And I'm thinking, you know what? Everything else I've sold, idiots have returned. The TV went for $200. So, I do my math. Alright. The first three items I sold went for a total of $200 and something dollars. And this TV goes for the $200. That's $414 to $418. That's about the same amount as I spent. But all my shit gets fucking returned. Now, what are the odds of everything I'm selling being returned? Period. Before it's even shipped, my payments have all cleared. Everything has cleared, except for the very last thing I bought. And it takes like three days because I was going to put my credit card on there and did this and this was all funny and it works and my credit card didn't go on there then it blocked my credit card so the money comes out of my bank account like writing a check how can I afford to pay for my shit and nobody else can pay for fucking theirs how can I earn money on eBay when people win my shit I don't get paid now my nephew the boss Francis Coppola he told me man they won't even let me just flat out sell mine they won't let him sell his shit the way he wants to sell it they let me sell my shit 900 different kind of ways and when people win my shit oh I didn't know it's the wrong TV I don't live in your town I can't afford shipping and they asked me to cancel um if you were to have three straws in your hand, three regular straws, what are the odds of one of these straws being faulty or broken or damaged? See what I'm saying? How come everything I pay for is cool, but it seems like there's a balance? The more shit I sell, the more shit, of course, I want to buy. And all of a sudden, they buy my shit, and they can't pay for it. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. Now, I've only didn't been on this eBay thing for, like, you know, a month. If you make five sales in 30 days of $400, and you spend $400 in cash, what is the difference? These people buying my property are allowed to return it without paying for it nothing and I'm saying to myself I can do the same things they're doing but what is the fucking purpose of getting in an auction bidding on something and then changing your mind after you win it I mean what are the odds of everybody buying my shit happen to be the ones who can't afford it what are the odds? The odds are, I think, just like on YouTube, the odds of me getting big time famous on YouTube is just like me selling my shit on eBay. You want it. Ooh, it smells good. You taste it. You feel it in your hands. Ah, oh, fuck it. I can't afford this shit. Don't bid on my shit. So it brings me to this. eBay, you've been tuned.